Nice, look at this back here. We got a Taylor. Oh, nice, a Scotty Cameron Red X. I think this is like. Guys, welcome back. Today, John and I are going thrifting for golf clubs. Plus, we need to check the lion goal on some of his irons because he's been snap hooking his pitching wedge like crazy, which is kind of fun to watch, but I'm sure not very fun for John. But we'll do that later. But first, we'll meet you at thrift shop number one. Thank you. Uh -huh. Looks like they got rid of a ton of clubs. This whole bin used to be full of golf clubs. Let's see what they have. Got some old, I think these are actually, I'm not sure if these are laminated or persimmons, but. Oh, nice, look at this back here. We got a tailor-made burner, super fast three wood right here. Matrix Ozeke stiff shaft. That's pretty cool. I used the driver of this for a long time. You got some golf balls? Yeah. Oh, those are the Dixon Earth Balls, I think. Yeah, world's first 100% extreme distance eco-friendly. Yeah, I think these are uh, made of recycled materials and stuff like that. There's like three or four different models. They all have like earth, wind, and fire. Oh, speaking of uh, three woods right here, we got a uh, tailor-made V-Steel. This is my all-time favorite three wood. <laughs> It's got a uh, steel shaft, one of the last uh, modern clubs to have a steel shaft. Mm -hmm. Those in like the Titleist woods and stuff like that, but dang, that's a pretty good uh, pickup. Well, that was a good deal. I was excited about these golf balls we've never tried out before, and then we found two of John's favorite three woods of all time. So, not a bad deal. We'll see you at the next thrift shop. Well, that was interesting. This is the first thrift store I've seen doing this. They uh, ask you questions and take your temperature before you come in, which is kind of uh, nice, but uh, got a uh, pull cart right here, and Ashley found this uh, North Face uh, sleeping bag right yeah. there. That thing had to have been super expensive when it first came out. It's only $8, so. That's crazy. Yeah, we've been planning on doing some uh, overnight challenges, so could come into handy. Although in Florida, I don't think we're gonna need one. No. Yeah, well, this one's got like a hoodie thing to it too. Yeah, I wonder what, how like low in temperature. Nothing yeah, this is probably rated, Florida. yeah, probably rated for pretty good, but uh, definitely a good pickup there, only $8. I okay. assume that thing's like pretty dang expensive when it first came out, yeah. Pretty productive day so far. We're gonna go to one more thrift store before we head out to that uh, golf store and get the lie angles changed, but we have to do the giveaway winner from the last video. This was, uh, all you had to do was comment windy because we played in all of that wind like the video and be a subscriber and that entered you in. Got commentpicker.com open, get YouTube comments. 970 comments, this might take a second. All right, pick winner. All right, here we go. Jim Townsend, you are the, oh, you've, uh, yeah, you've been a subscriber for a long time, that's cool. So uh, Jim Townsend, you are the winner and he said he wants the uh, Callaway X Tour, so cool. All you have to do is send us an email with your uh, address information and we'll send that out to you. Let's see what they got in the next thrift store. This is that thrift store that we found all of those left-handed clubs at the last time to see if they have anything new for us. They still have that full set of Hogan Edge. We got a Tour Edge High Launch 3. I didn't see that the last time we were here. That's pretty good, we get that. We got a uh, King Cobra SE 3 wood. We got a uh, Tommy Armour 855 7 iron. And a, oh, another uh, Tour Edge uh, Bazooka Geo Max 2 hybrid. The uh, Lefty Ferry has uh, left us some more stuff. All right, perfect timing to end up at the golf store. It is raining like crazy. We got Andy and Piers from Me and My Golf on in the background, and there's a ton of stuff. We actually already got the uh, lie angle check there. Three and a half degrees upright, so once I get those fixed, I have no excuses, but let's take a look at what they got. They always have really good stuff in here. That's a good start. Yeah, we got a uh, left-handed TP Mills for 10 bucks. Can't beat that. Ping Answer, $24.99. A bunch of brand new putters, and then over here, oh, look at this old uh, Ping Dock putter. Yeah, these things are crazy. This is a smaller one, I think, too. There was one that was even bigger. Yeah, this is the Doc 15. I think they had one that was like even bigger. Those were. It's like half a yeah, skillet. It's like a murder weapon for sure. <laughs> Get Taylor made TP putter. Oh, here we go. Here's another TP mill. So I think this is the TPM 2. Oh, no, TPM 5. Oh, I got it wrong. 10 bucks for that. That's definitely going home with us. Collection. Yeah. Looks like this is a. What is this? Oh, nice, a Scotty Cameron Red X. I think this is like the mid. Yeah, Red X 2 mid. Oh, sales sample. Huh. <laughs> that's almost cool. Yeah, that. <laughs> that's so cool. I think this is supposed to, yeah, it's like a belly putter and this must have been like what they sent out to uh, like sales reps or something like that. That was cool. Yeah. It's gotta be weighted weird because it's supposed to be like a belly putter. Uh -huh. huh. I'm actually gonna try that. Oh, I got a Wedgwood set. We just, did, we just found the uh, Wedgwood pitching wedge. I didn't know they made iron. Yeah, it's like a full set of them. That's cool. Title is T300s, X24 Hots. I think there's a lot of these are trade-ins too, so the prices are really good yeah. on them. What else we got? Vixa V12, the Kick X, I think. Got a couple of As Seen on TV stuff. You guys know that we like that. Old Ben Hogan CFTs, some of my favorite hybrids. Man, they've got like some <laughs> of my all-time favorites. It's like kid in a candy store. Usually yeah. we're in thrift stores and we're just like picking through bad clothes. This is like 
everything you could ever want. Yeah. All right, guys, made it out to the course. It actually rained the entire day yesterday, and the course we normally play at is closed, but this one should be perfect for testing out the irons. It's got super short par fours and really small greens, so should be good to test out. Ashley's gonna hit a few. She doesn't want to overdo it with her neck, but uh, we're also gonna go over some of the uh, the problems that you might encounter when you buy used golf clubs like we do. We always like talk about, like, oh, we find this stuff, but yeah. there are some problems that come up, so we'll kind of go over that as we play, but excited to see if I'm still uh, snap hooking these irons. Hopefully, hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, hopefully this fixes it, but the uh, first hole is 308 yards probably going with a four iron and then uh pitching wedge hopefully i don't hit it into the uh the houses like i have i have been but we'll see all right that's more of the ball flight that we're all used to seeing for me i like to move it left to right when i start going right to left i get afraid that i'm going to uh, snap hook it i give up a little bit of yardage but I'll take the accuracy that I get from it. But problem number one when you're buying used golf clubs, especially the way we do from like tag sales, garage sales, and all that kind of stuff, is you can't really tell what the naked yeah. eye if stuff is like upright or flat. You can't really tell if stuff has been custom fit or anything yeah, like we've that. We've gotten to the course and realized that a club is like two inches longer, which feels like four inches longer to me, so. Yeah, it's really hard to tell that stuff. I mean, you can tell if it's like, there's two seven irons yeah, right so you there. You can see which one's longer or stuff like that. If it's like, you know, very noticeable, you're probably gonna notice it because it's very noticeable, but enough talking. We got a uh, perfect yardage for a pitching wedge. Hopefully we can uh, see the uh, a nicer ball flight. Yeah. Don't want to snap hook one into the, the houses, which I've done before with these irons. So hopefully we got that fixed. Yeah. Three and a half degrees upright though. It's pretty Ooh. crazy. So I'm going to say it's the clubs, hopefully, and yeah. not you. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been more excited to miss a green to the right, but that's definitely more of the ball flight than I'm used to. So I think we got things uh, fixed here. I'm gonna uh, give a chip, then Ashley's going to putt this in for par. And then we'll probably both play the, uh, the next hole here. A couple of short par threes coming up. So uh, yeah, pretty tricky little shot, but uh, anything on the green, Ashley can make you guys know that. Ooh. All right, I trust John with this putt. <laughs> it almost bounced Ooh. out. All right, the next hole we got a par three, 125 yards. I'm probably going with one of the three woods, and I'm assuming John's going with the pitching wedge again. That's actually right at it. The pin's right behind the <laughs> the uh, tree right there. At least you don't have to mess with the tree on the next <laughs> shot. I didn't hit that shot the greatest, but actually didn't end up horribly. And I think John's just on the other side of the green. But another thing you should be on the lookout when buying used clubs, especially iron sets, is the grips. Because the cost of re-gripping them can sometimes be more than they're worth. Yeah, so. especially in Florida, people will keep their clubs in the yeah. garage or storage and units. The humidity and, just like deteriorates Yeah, especially them. wind grips. Wind grips are notorious for that. But I realize that I haven't told you what irons I've been using this <laughs> entire time. Strixon Z. 565s in the long irons and then Strixon 765s in the uh, short irons. Bought these off of uh, OfferUp, yeah. I think like a month ago or something like that. Yeah. I really like them. They feel really good, super soft and uh, good now ball that flight. They're actually except a normal. For the, yeah. yeah, except <laughs> for the short irons, which I've been hooking. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you're going to go with this one. You don't have your square strike, Ooh, but. Ooh, I'll try this pitching wedge though. Yeah. <laughs> That, not the worst. Yeah, that's not, a, not an easy shot. You got like a little dip right there. She carried it perfectly. That's pretty good. Oh, that looks good. Oh, oh it just broke off at the end. You can tap that one and make your par. Okay. First uh, time playing in like a week and a half and you're gonna get a par in the first hole. <laughs> ah. Well, no par for me, but I really like the feel of this TP Mills and well, actually all TP Mills, but the next hole is a par three, 135 yards. I'm probably going with the other three wood and then... I'm going to go with the nine iron. I've hit the pitchy wedge yeah, exactly. enough, so I want to make sure the uh, line goes good on this one too. Uh, i got to take a little bit off of it, but what did yeah. you say, 135? Yep. 135, let's see if we can't put one close. Cool. Oh! <laughs> hit off the uh, red tee marker. <laughs> That's a stinger for you. Yeah, the steel shaft's probably a little Whoa. bit too much, but... I think we'll take yours. All right, I think these irons are finally dialed into what they need to be. Three and a half degrees upright. It's a little extreme if you ask me. Whoever had those uh, custom made for them had to been like pretty dang tall or they were stepping on them or they got slammed in their trunk, but seems to be uh, worked out now. But another thing you want to look for, speaking of, uh, you know, 
slamming them in the trunk or yeah. stepping on them is the actual condition, especially if you're buying online. If there aren't that many pictures of it and you don't feel comfortable buying it, especially with irons, forged irons, if they don't show pictures of the uh, short irons and then you get them and they have like a bunch of browning or rust on them, yeah, you're gonna be mad. So just ask for the pictures there. Yeah. Or like uh, you were saying, dents. Dents or yeah. like if the grooves are all messed up. And yeah, if they have a ton of wear on them, yeah. if you can't see the millings on the wedges, it's not really worth picking up unless you get them for super cheap. But we should have a, uh, we'll go. Two looks at it, you're just gonna play for mine? Sure. <laughs> Two looks at Birdie. Hers is gonna look better probably. <laughs> <laughs> she took the break out of it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Average jars out, it would have been yeah. good. No birdie there, but we're going to play this next one from the uh, forward tees. It is uh, 250 yards. I'm going to go with the V Steel. I used to use this in high school, one of my favorite clubs of all time. Definitely my favorite three wood of all time, although I played mine with the uh, stock graphite shaft. So we'll see if we can't put one close. Uh, 250 yards. I don't know if I can still hit this that far, but we'll see. <laughs> I hit that one pretty good and I think it would have reached the green but I smacked into these trees over here but if you're looking for a super cheap three wood I would definitely recommend the V-Steels. You can usually get them for about $30 shipped on uh, eBay. So did you find it? Yeah, I found it. Nice. We got a... Uh, uh, you should be okay. <laughs> yeah, we got a little bit of an angle here. I'll probably go with the uh, pitching wedge for the 50th time in the video but yeah. next hole should be a good test for the uh, short irons but this one, got to make a birdie. Get it up and down. Roll. <laughs> that was buried under there. I didn't realize it was in a little bit of a hole. Yeah. You want to go? We're on the green though. You don't need your square strike anymore. Just switch to these uh, Strixon <laughs> pitching wedge. Oh, it Man. breaks hard at the end. That's good. Oh, yours went right through the break. Oh well. All right, last hole here is a 162 yard par three. Should be a good distance for an eight iron, super small green. So it's definitely to test the uh, ball flight and accuracy. Hopefully we got all the lie angles fixed because I really like these irons. They have a really good ball flight in the long iron. And now they have a good ball flight in the short iron. So last thing to check is the mid irons. That's it. That was right on line for a long time, but it went way yeah. over the green. I forgot that these things are a little bit more uh, stronger lofted than you I'm used to. You need to dial in your distance now. Yeah, I've been using the Ping I-5s, and these ones have a little bit more of a stronger loft, so they go way further. But definitely liking the ball flight on them. I just got to get the uh, distances dialed in. Hopefully, we can chip in, give you guys a birdie. That's what you're here to watch, so uh, let's see if we can't get that done. Not sure if it carried all the way back here, but we are way long. The next tee box is right here, so we got a pretty tricky shot with some palm trees in the way. See if Ashley's luck continues with the pitching wedge. Well, that's what mine looked like the last time. Was it like in a little hole or something? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going. Uh, I'm going above, over those trees. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if the camera could pick it up. Oh man! Don't try that one at no. home. That, that actually kind of hurt swinging that hard from that close. Grass in the face. <laughs> could have gotten hit by a tree. Oh. Alright guys, no birdie today, but uh, smash that like button for the... Uh, the that was a crazy flop yeah, shot. <laughs> completely useless flop shot, although it was kind of fun. So hopefully you guys like this video and the biggest problem of uh, buying used clubs is it's kind of addicting. Yes, you get, very. <laughs> yeah, you almost get a little bit uh, more interested in trying different clubs than getting better at the game, but yeah. it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Next video should be part one of yes. our uh, 30,000 subscriber video. We've had to wait for the weather. Today was good, but it was supposed to rain. So hopefully tomorrow is not supposed to rain yeah. and it doesn't rain. We'll see you then. <laughs> weather. <laughs>